Wednesday. It is the 13th of um, June. Yes, we are the 13th of June. So I'm just going to pick up the video here to see if it's coming on my laptop. That way I can check out your comments and if anybody is hopping on, I'll make sure the sound is down. There we go. Perfect. Oh, you guys are hopping on right away. Janine and, and Clarice. Awesome. Hi, guys. How are you doing? I'm going to look at my iPod here rather than over to the side. And you guys are so punctual. That's awesome. I was actually a little worried tonight because we had a bit of a, a rainstorm outside and I was a little bit worried we were going to lose power. But fingers crossed we're going to be okay. And uh, yeah, so whoever's uh, hopping on the live stream, introduce yourself in the comments. I'm going to do my best to respond to comments. If I don't, at least in the replay, all the comments are up there and um, I'll be able to, if there's any questions, I'll answer them after the fact, but I will do my best to answer comments. Uh, as always, uh, it's uh, Heather, uh, Heather Boyd Wire here and it's Wire Lady TV uh, happening every week. And hi Robin, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And every week I'm, I'm going to troubleshoot a different idea. And so this week, I, I actually have a new thing on my YouTube. It's the community tab. So which means uh, I could post updates and photos and different things like that. And I can actually do polls on the, uh, in the community center, which is really fun. So I did a poll a few days ago and asked people what kind of video they wanted me to do next. And it was sort of mixed, uh, but I did Hey Sharon, how are you? Welcome. I'm glad you could make it this week. Yeah, so the um, the response to the poll was kind of mixed. I had, uh, as always, everybody wants rings, so no problem. I will get back to doing more rings. Hey, hey kids filming. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. And so uh, one of the things that was mentioned in the poll was uh, bookmarks. And I said, I thought that's kind of cool because I haven't really done bookmarks before and specifically a graduation bookmark. So I'm going to do my best. Good. Awesome. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm going to do my best to um, do a graduation bookmark today. And I'm going to also show you guys a few projects that I've been doing this week. One is a really funny project. I don't know if... Any of you follow my comics Instagram, but I have an Instagram called Heather Boyd Comics and I do all kinds of like storytelling comics and things. It's a lot of fun. And hey, Leanne from Australia. Awesome. Oh, yay. That's so cool. And Laura. Hey, how are you guys doing? That's so fun. Uh, speaking of Australia, we uh, we recently um we recently met a guy from Australia. His name is uh, Marcus Ryan, and he's a comedian. And uh, he's actually here from Australia at the Fringe Festival. So we went to his show, and this uh, thing I'm going to show you was kind of inspired by him because he uh, had seen that I had a whoopee cushion, and it motivated me to... I was working on a design for a whoopee, uh, DIY whoopee cushion and a whoopee cushion comparison video. So some of you might have seen already on my Facebook or on my Instagram. And so what I did was I had this whoopee cushion that I bought at the dollar store. And then I had this whoopee cushion that I actually made because on this channel, I used to do a lot of DIY wire art and jewelry, uh, no, wire art and jewelry, but plus crafts as well. So I'd made this whoopee cushion. I'll link up below the tutorial to how to make the whoopee cushion. Uh, Andrea Gibson. Uh, hi, this is Cat uh, uh, Andrea Gibson. Awesome. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you guys for introducing yourself. And and then this one is actually, I w when I was a kid, I had a flat whoopee cushion. And last uh, Christmas, I gave it away to my nephews. And I was, of course, you know, I had it since I was a kid. And then, of course, the minute I give it away, I needed it again. And I couldn't find a flat one anywhere. So what I did was I bought a whoopee cushion at the dollar store took out the sponge and taped it up and made this flat whoopee cushion and then my homemade whoopee cushion. So if you want to see the comparison video on what happened when I compared these three, uh, check out my Heather Boyd Comics uh, YouTube channel and I'm going to link up that below. But with no further ado, I'm going to get onto the project because I easily get carried away with these other uh, projects and let me flip the screen and I'm going to show you guys what I am doing. Okay, so here we go, and 
Yeah, yeah, it's funny, eh, Leanne? Yeah, I do some crazy, crazy projects. So that was that was one of them. So here are some sketches for some uh, bookmark ideas that I was, I just found a few ideas online. And then I also, I do make bookmarks myself. So what I think I'll do to get started is just show you guys um, how I make my bookmarks. And then I will try to do a graduation one. I think that's going to be, that's going to be a fun idea. So let's go with that and see. So I have this manga bit of wire. This is actually aluminum wire. It's pretty soft. And this one, I'm 100% I'm sure I bought it on Etsy. And if you guys are interested, I could probably go back in my purchases on Etsy and find out where I bought it. And it's not expensive, this aluminum wire. The only problem with this aluminum wire, it's a little bit soft. And so uh, that's one disadvantage. But the advantage is, um, it's easy to work with and you can actually flatten it, which is really super cool. And when you do flatten the wire, it becomes a lot uh, stronger. So what I'm going to do for this, I think I might even have one video where I made a bookmark before. I'm not 100% sure. But what I will show you is a couple of different ways that I've made bookmarks. So what I would do for this is, and you can actually buy a wire uh, forms like already pressed forms to uh, hang uh, like little dangly beads and stuff on to make bookmarks but it's kind of fun if you can make your own base so for the basic bookmark what I do is I just turn this wire around like this this is a pretty heavy duty gauge wire I would say this is a good 16 or 14 gauge wire and you'll see it's quite soft so you might be better to get it even a little bit thicker or get a little more heavy duty wire. Uh, probably even the copper, artistic copper wire would work for this as well and it wouldn't be so fragile. So the idea of the bookmark, you're kind of trying to get it to look a little bit like a paper clip. So if you just keep going bigger and bigger with your circles, start with your round pliers and work your way out um, with a round form like this is a ring form or you can use a marker or a sharpie so when i do my bookmarks i usually make a form like this and then i flatten it and i know in previous videos i actually showed you guys um what i use to flatten my wire it's actually called a rolling mill and i'm not sure how expensive they are to buy now when i bought it it was quite expensive but they do they have gone down in price a little bit and so another option is to get something like this, which is um, just like a very, um, it's, what is it called? A steel bench block. It's for flattening wire and then a little hammer. And honestly, I don't know what it's going to do here with you guys. I hope it's not going to hurt your ears if I pound on this thing. So let's just see if it's going to work. Yeah, you just kind of tap it. It's not too bad. Let me know if it's hurting your ears. And I'm just going to gently tap it a bit because I'm not really on my work table at all. But the idea is you can, I'm just going to very gently do it like that because I really don't want to uh, ruin it. Uh, where to buy wire without paying a fortune for shipping? Hmm, that's a very good question. So unfortunately also for us in Canada, uh, shipping is really expensive too when I order from the States and duties if you order over a certain amount. Um, depending on where you live, if you live in a, a major city, uh, I know we have Michael's, which has so much variety now for craft supplies. Like it's really a great place to buy craft supplies. And Walmart doesn't have so much, but if you do get a chance to go up to a big city, but how to avoid uh, heavy duty charges for shipping, uh, I wish I, I wish I knew. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I do because um, it's really it's really tricky. I know I ordered once from the Artistic Wire, and you get a little wire from hardware stores. Definitely from hardware stores, you can buy you can buy some. Yeah, and it could be cheaper. Or even I don't know if you guys have dollar stores, but some dollar stores have a lot of craft supplies too. So oh, I don't remember where I saw this, but someone recommended four people buying two. Oh, to buy in bulk. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Uh, freaking out saying someone isn't safe to wear it. 
Oh, okay. For the hardware store wire? Yeah, it depends on the wire. If, if yeah, you don't want to buy a random wire that you don't know what it is if you're going to wear it on your skin. Uh, for something like a bookmark or earrings, it's not too bad because for earrings, you can actually hang it on, um, on something else, like on a surgical steel hook. So that's not too bad. Uh-oh, I think my... My thing is freezing now. Can you guys can you guys still hear me? It looks like my looks like my screen is freezing. Ooh ooh. Me and my son Joey went to something AC more and they have a bunch of jewelry wires at good prices. Oh that's cool. I don't know that store. Yeah, I'm not sure of that store. Okay, sorry guys if my screen froze for a minute. It seems to be going okay now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to do one of these basic ones. Do you hear me? You can hear me. That's awesome. So let's try just a basic shape for the bookmark like this. I'm going to use this thicker wire again. This time I'm not going to press it just because I don't have that machine nearby that I can do that. But this will give you an idea how you could do it. And then you can either hammer the wire flat or... Um, if you have a press, you could press it as well, or you don't even really have to. Oh, thanks. I'm glad I'm glad it's back to normal now. So to, I made like a little spiral. I just got it started on my uh, cone shape, and we're going to just pull it around. And then to make the spiral, you just kind of slowly bring it in like that. And because the wire is quite soft, you can actually just kind of wiggle it around by eye. So if I follow this kind of design like this, we're just going to keep it simple and then I can use my round pliers and then we're just going to do a little back and forth and then just go up like that, okay? And then depending on how high you want the bookmark to be, you can just do like a little loop. These are really fun teacher gifts too if you need a teacher gift or Father's Day gift. So there we go. So this is just a basic shape and then you need a little loop to hang whatever you're gonna hang on there. So we're just gonna go like this. We'll just do a little loopy. And so that's ready to go. You can hang almost anything on there. You can hang some beads or you can, uh, you can hang any kind of thing you want. Like if you have a little pendant or something. And what I'm going to attempt to do now is try to do a little um, graduation cap. So this is an experiment. And what I thought I could do for this is just get like a little bead to represent like a head. And then a little, the little black piece for the hat. And then for the flat part of the hat, I'm going to use this fun foam and see if that's going to work. So let's give it a try. As usual, you guys are my guinea pigs and I super appreciate it. That's really great. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just, I don't know if you can see with the shadow, but I just put the black bead on top of the foam, a little bit from the edge, and I'm going to cut it. And this actually reminds me when my daughter was in uh, to see what you're going to do. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited too. I wish sometimes I wish I knew what was I was doing, but I like I like this living on the edge thing because I never quite know exactly what I'm gonna do and how it's gonna turn out. But I think that's the <laughs> you love it. That's awesome. So there we go. It usually ultimately works out in the end. So we'll just see. So here's I've cut a square shape, and there's the little black bead on top. It's a little bit tricky to see. So what I was thinking I could do. But the other thing I also want to do is to make like a little tassel, right? So let's skip over to the tassel. And what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to actually get this embroidery floss. And this is what reminds me when my daughter was young, I made a whole bunch of uh, graduation hats for, um, well, I made some for the my friend's preschool. But I also, when uh, my daughter graduated, I think it was probably grade six. Uh, we bought a whole bunch of little miniature bears at the, I still work, oh, you're still working. <laughs> so I, I got a whole bunch of miniature bears from the dollar store. And then we made them all little t-shirts that said um, the name of the school on it, the logo. 
And then we also we also made little mini um, graduation caps for the bears. And so this is sort of the idea that I did uh, when I made the graduation caps. So what we need to do is first to make like a little tassel. This is super teeny, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. But if I just wrap this around a few times, of course, when I made the bigger ones, I just wrapped it around several fingers. But because this is so small, we're just going to try it this way. So if we just cut a few of, let's just cut them right open like this. So this is like, if you know how to make a tassel, this is sort of the idea. <laughs> you like, yeah, it's definitely a creative uh, process, Janine. And, and it's really, it's actually really fun for me too, because, because you just never know what's going to happen. So we'll see, we'll see if this happens or not, if or not, but I've just cut some little I ended up just using three pieces like that. I was going to use more, but then it seems seemed to be a little bit too big. So let's just now tie those in the middle. So we'll just tie this cord like this and then stick these inside to make the little tassel. It's really hard to do it when it's so tiny. And these might even be too short, but let's just see what they are like that. Uh, it should be okay. So the idea is we're going to tie it like that and then we want to tie it. You know what I think is going to be easier? Like if I have it like this and then if I get a little wire around the top. Still working last week project Heather. Oh you're still working on last week's project. Oh that's all right. My goodness Clarice you, you do so many of my projects. I, I can't believe how many you've done so far. It's really amazing. I think you could publish a book with all the designs of that you've done. And I love the way you take photos of them and present them. It's so beautiful and very colorful. So here we go. So let's, um, I was going to tie this around, but now I realize that it's not going to work so well. This one seems a little short. So I'm just going to actually pull that one out. And let's push these ones down and see if this is going to work if I put a little piece of wire around it. Um, probably it would have been better with thinner wire, but I'm not sure I have some thinner wire. So let's just try it like this. Yeah, I don't think I brought any skinny wire downstairs. You always think you have all the materials you need and then sometimes you don't have quite have what you need. So this wire is a little bit, you know what, this one is really too thick. So even though this, I have another wire here. Let me just see if this one's better. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a different piece of wire. And let's just try to wind this around the tassel. So our challenge of the day is making a miniature graduation tassel. <laughs> it might take us an hour just to make the tassel, but we'll see. Okay, so the idea is you want to like gather these little wires together in a way that they don't like fray out like that. So let's just tie it around. In fact, you could almost make the tassel out of wire itself. It might be better, but I wanted it to be a little bit dangly. So let's just cut the ends of the wire to get rid of them. Okay, so it's almost like you have a little spring at the top of the tassel. So it's kind of looking a bit like a tassel. It's not too bad. Okay, and let's just trim it. We'll trim the tassel. It actually looks kind of cute. So there's our tassel like that. And then the idea is we want to somehow string it on to the hat and we want to put the hat uh, on the head. <laughs> it's coming along, eh, Clarice? So far, so good. I'm just going to dig in my needles for a little bigger needle because I will need a larger needle to attach it to the, um, to the hat itself. So I've got my needle. And now I'm going to need my regular size wire. I usually use 20 gauge as my go-to wire. It's cute, eh, <laughs> Janine? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of cute. And see, I've never made these before. You guys are my inspiration. And uh, yeah, you never know what you're going to get here. So let's just do a little loop. It's all, you always need a little loop at the bottom to attach the bead. Okay, so we've got just a little, a little mini loop here. And let me just trim the edge here like that. 
And uh, yeah, we've been having a really fun week. I don't know if you guys in the cities and towns you live, if they have something called a Fringe Festival, but we have this theater festival in Montreal called the Fringe Festival. And my daughter and I have been going, I think we've been to four shows so far. It's been so much fun. So uh, if ever you guys are in Montreal in the summer, uh, be sure, be sure, be sure to contact me and I would meet you downtown and go to some of these amazing events. There's a fringe festival, there's jazz festival, there's just for last festival. There's so much going on. So this this bead is going to represent the head, and then we're going to put a bead that's going to represent sort of the underneath part of the uh, graduation hat. And then we're going to put this one that will be um, the the top of the hat. Okay, so like that. So so far. It's not too bad. I guess it the square can maybe even be a bit a bit better. Jazz Fest. Yeah, yeah. Jazz Fest is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's coming up uh, beginning of July. So it's coming up soon. So here we go like this. So what I think I'll do uh, for that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and make a loop at the top of this to finish it off. Let me just think. Or you know what I think I'm get, I should do first? Because I want to hide. Oh, your birthday. That's awesome. Well, you could come to the Jazz Fest for your birthday. That would be cool. Yeah, Montreal in the summer, there's nothing like it. It's just it's just so exciting. When I first moved to Montreal, it was summer. And I moved here in 89 and uh, there was so much going on. It was uh, it was so exciting. And it hasn't changed. In fact, I think it's even better now. Love the festival. Oh yeah, the fireworks. Yes, absolutely. The fireworks competition is starting soon. Yeah, that's downtown as well. I don't usually go to the fireworks. My husband goes to that. He really enjoys it. But um, I'm not a big fireworks person. Okay, you know what? This this is not going to work. I think my needle is too uh, small. And I don't know about you guys, but with age, my eyesight is uh, really getting shot. So it's really... Um, I'm going to need a bigger hole needled here. So how about this one? This is like a, a knitting needle or like a, mm, a darning needle, I guess. So let's put this one in here because we definitely need a needle to feed it through. Okay, so we've got our tassel on the needle. And like I said, I made larger hats like this to go on little stuffed animals and stuff. So so if you're looking for a kind of a gift for, for somebody for graduation, that's an idea too. Maybe I can post on Instagram a, a picture of that old bear that I made a long time ago. It was so cute. So I've just removed the top of the hat. I'm going to poke a hole in just a little bit to the side of the center. Okay, so just a little bit to the side of the center there. And let's just see how far down this should hang. Like if we do it a bit like that, it's just hanging down a little bit like that. That's kind of cute. I think that's good. But so now to finish this, um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to string it back and forth a couple of times because sometimes it's tricky to get it, the knot to sit in place. So if I go back and forth on itself, it should work that it sticks in place because sometimes if you tie a knot, it might get a little warped out of place. So, but you just want to be careful not to tear the the um, foam with the with the needle because it is a kind of a fat needle. So let's go back through the middle hole with our needle. Okay, we'll go back through the middle hole. So we're kind of sewing it in place. Yeah, this is actually this is going to be the top. So this will go down like that. And then we're going to go it back to the side like that. Okay, so I think if we do that, it's pretty solid. And then if you want, please post the photo on, oops, I, wait, oh, on YouTube, on the community thing. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, duh, I forgot. Now that I have that community page, I can actually post photos, which is amazing. I totally forgot about that. So, like I said, you could tie it. You could do like a little, like, spread these um, threads and do a little double knot if you want, but just for, um, uh, how do you say, just to make it a little quicker, I just trimmed it. I just went up and down. You know how when you sew and you go up and down on the stitches on, on themselves, they, they hold in place. So that's kind of what I've done there. I've gone up and back and forth a couple of times. So now we have the top of our little hat. I'm trying to show you guys on an angle. It's, it's super cute though. 
So now let's put the head bead and that um, bead on the wire and then just stick this back up. And in theory, that little end should actually sit right in the wooden bead. It's just a wooden bead that I think I got, I recycled an old necklace or something. So here's so far, super cute, a little head with a graduation cap. So now let's make the loop at the top. So we're gonna cut that to about half an inch. And Sharon and I had this discussion about how to make like the loops at the top of the, um, when you're making jewelry and stuff. So sometimes I just cut it flush, like cut it a short length and just turn it. Other times I cut it a little longer so I have enough to turn the edge around a few times. Oh, there's Claudia. Hey Claudia, I showed off your jewelry tonight at my event. That's so awesome. That is so cool. Now, Claudia, tell me what the event was again. I, I, I forget. Claudia does so many events that I lose track of what she's doing. I know you went to the spa the other day with your mom. That was awesome. And I actually make, I help uh, Claudia edit her videos. So she's just going to be having a video coming out on Friday about going to the spa. That's awesome. So look, guys, how cute this is. Can you see it? Yeah, the little, the little head bead and then the little... Just let me just adjust my camera and make sure it's not too shadowy. I think we're okay. I hope the lighting's okay. So here's our little guy. So now what we would ha have to do, and the other thing you could do, you could actually make a full body. Like I, I know some, a few weeks back, I did a tutorial on how to uh, make like a little beaded person. So you could actually go back and look at those videos of where I made a little, little beaded person and you could put a graduation cap on the beaded person. So maybe I'll also do that and post pictures in the community page. So now the idea would be just to stick this to a cute, eh? Oh my God, yeah, I think it's so cute too. Well, if I, if I don't say so myself, I'm really happy with it. And that's all thanks to, uh, to you guys' suggestions. When you suggest things, I, I kind of look up different ideas and then I make a few sketches and then I just come and wing it here. So I'm just making a jump ring. I actually have jump rings uh, that I use, standard size jump rings, but I didn't bring them downstairs. So I'm just making one out of this wire. Basically, you just make a circle and then try to cut it a little flush on each side. So then you can open it up and stick it on here. And then we're gonna stick that one on here. And then you wanna close up the jump ring. And there we have a very funky, kind of quirky little hat with the graduation. There we go. And Claudia says it was a networking event for the blind and visually impaired. How awesome. Oh, I can't wait to hear about that. That is so cool. So here's our little graduation one. And then I thought it would be fun also to do one. Um, there was some ideas to do one with a name and then like uh, the graduation year at the top. Oh, and then this one is fun too. So let's make another one. I'm gonna get some other wire. I have, uh, my go-to wire is this copper wire. So it's cute, eh? Yeah, it's so fun. Oh, Rebecca, just, I missed your thing. It just subbed to your YouTube channel. Yay, that's awesome. I'd love to hear that. So, so let's try, let's try, this one's interesting. I'm gonna try one with a little name on there. Okay, so there we go. We're going to cut this like that. And then maybe I will just do, I could just do my daughter's name, I guess. Did I bring my other pliers? Oh, yeah, they're there. So the idea was you, you would leave a little bit at the top and then just do a little name like that. And so, oh, you know what I'll do? I won't do that. I'll do my, I'll just do one for my dad. How about that? Since Father's Day is coming, I will just. Uh, I'll just write dad. That's easy enough. Last, one of the other times I wrote, I did one for my mom. So, and my parents always watch my videos. So let's do one for dad. I could do the name Ian, but uh, honestly, I don't like making the, the capital a I. It's a very difficult letter to make. So let's just go with dad. So we're just going to form the word. And it's easy enough. I do have some other tutorials on how to do some uh wire a lettering. I think I might have done it on a live stream at one point too, how to do the lettering out of wire. And uh, so I have some like how to do cursive letters. And then I had one on how to do individual letters for like a keychain, which was really cute too. So 
what I really should do is uh, when I post, when I uh, publish this video, like later, uh, and edit the description, I should put links to all these videos that I referred to. So Annette, Annette, this is my first time catching a live stream. Yay! That's so awesome. That's great. I love it. Yeah, we're here every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So here's for dad. We're just going to do finish the name like that. And then to do the bookmark like quite simply, you could do the same thing where you get your cone or you can just use a magic marker if you don't have a cone and just wind it down around a few times like that. And then we'll get the these pliers and just pull it in like that a little bit. Okay, perfect. And then this one on the top, we can just kind of do it a similar way. If you want to do like that, we can go back and forth a little bit and then just wind this. Whoopsies. And then we'll just, these pliers are my favorite, these big round pliers, because I find they they make a really nice round shape, like a spiral type shape. So there we go. So this would be like a very simple way to make a book like mark like that. And you can actually do it uh, longer if you wanted. If you wanted just to make that more fancy, you can. And just very simple. And if you did want, you could probably add like hang beads on it too. So that would be another idea for a bookmark. And this one I really wanted to try because I, I found that one very interesting looking. So let's do that one. I'm going to use some more of the copper wire. Cool, eh? Yeah, just very simple. So let's cut a nice big piece of this one. And let me just give it a little trim. Okay, and then we want another little extra piece because we're going to wind it around the middle. I think I'm just going to remove this paper for now. We're running out of space a little bit. I'm going to clear this up. It's starting to look like my dining room table, which is not necessarily so good. So for this one, I think what we're going to do is just kind of bend it in half. It looks like I've cut about two feet of wire. And just like this, because this would be the flat part that sits in the book. So this you could decide how big you would like to make it. I'm thinking this is good to be about um, probably five or six inches, depending what kind of book you want to put it in. And then the idea would be we're just going to bring these two ends together, but you need to hold them in place. So I'm just going to get another wire, hold these together, and then just, oops, sorry, I just bang my little uh, my little stand here. I really have to get a proper tripod. I can't even write that neat. <laughs> That's so funny. Actually, I was just talking about uh, last night I went to my friend Allison's. It was her birthday and we were chatting about how kids these days don't even learn how to do cursive writing. Oops, this has got shadowy again. So that some kids don't like don't even know how to read cursive anymore. So because everything's done online now. So let alone do it out of wire, I guess. Yeah. So there we go. So we've got the little spring going on here just to hold these ends together. And then you can go ahead and you want you want to try to cut these like as close in as you can. So you don't have any little pokey ends in there. So we're just going to use the cutters. My cutters have like a nice little point to them. Oh, first time, Michelle says, first time here, just about to watch your vid making a bead rolling machine. Oh, cool. Well, that is really cool because that, uh, I love that, um, the video with the, uh, with the rolling, uh, to make the rolling machine there. And that's just a, a, a sample of one of the little gadgets. Like I like to make little gadgets to make life easier. So, um, and I even have a full like wire art and jewelry course uh, that I offer that I sell it in my Etsy shop. And it shows a few more techniques of how to, I actually have a, um, a way to flatten the wire too that I share in that course. So that's kind of fun as well. So here's, yeah, so here's just like the basic shape. And look, you could even move this up and down if you wanted to for the book. Okay. Oh, you have to go. That's oh, okay, Laura. Thanks for hopping on. That's awesome that you hopped on. Yeah, I usually go for about 30 to 40 minutes. So this is probably going to be our last project. So we're going to start like this. And then same thing. Let's do like a little spiral thing. So we're going to go down like this. And then around and around like that. Okay, we'll do like that kind of thing. 
So we'll do our spiral. And then if you wanted to, you can even add some beads on the other side if you want to. So we're just going to tighten this one up a little bit like that. Okay. And then I'm just trying to see how I would put some beads on there. But if we go up a little bit, yeah, let's just try to put a few beads on there just to see how it looks. So rather than like doing dangling beads like you would on that design, let's see how it looks if we just put actual beads on there. I'm going to see what kind of beads I have. Um, I'm trying to get them all around the same tone. Let's see if a red one, a red one should be okay. So I, I didn't bring a lot of beads down with me, but here's the, um, this is the four millimeter a miracle bead. So we'll stick that one on and then we'll stick a little glass faceted bead on there. Okay, and what else I have? This one's a little big. Maybe this one. This is like a hematite bead, which doesn't super match, but I like hematite beads for some reason. So if we do something like that, I'm just wondering because this might slide around a little bit. I think it's all right though. Yeah, because you could do a loop. If you find it's sliding around too much, you could do a little a little loopy on it. And then what you could do is just have a few beads on there to make it decorative. And then we're just going to do another spiral on this side. So we'll just bring it around like that. Yeah, there's the sky is the limit with uh, how you want to make these decorative. Like you can add beads directly to the wire or you could dangle beads after if you like as well. So if we just do something like that, there we go. We've got that like that. So that's really super cute and super simple. Just like that type of thing. So that was fun. And then I just saw I did another sketch that was really cute too. I'm going to do one more guys if you if you have the time. Because I did a sketch for one like this that had like a little coffee cup. And I recently did some mixed media cards with a little coffee cup like that. And I thought it was so, the design is so cute. So let's see if it will work with the bookmark. Because that would be really a fun gift, you know, for a coffee lover to make like a little coffee cup uh, bookmark. So let's just try one of those. This will be our last one. I'm just going to remove this one like this. So if we start, I'm thinking maybe just to start, because I don't know how much wire I need. So I'm going to just start at the top to do this, like the steam of the coffee. So if we just start like that and just go back and forth, kind of like this, I'll get my thicker or a teacup definitely could be a teacup. If you're not a coffee drinker, it could definitely be a teacup. I'm afraid I'm a little bit obsessed with coffee, but uh, I try not to have more than one a day because it can get you pretty wingy. But uh, yeah, I do, I do drink tea too. I love tea. So if we start with the steam like that, and let's just make the cup. I'm just trying to see how I'm going to do this. Let's see if we do like a little loop for the like the top of the coffee cup like that okay and then we will need to do the trick is how to do it in a way that it can you use one continuous uh, wire because sometimes you have to kind of backtrack on yourself to be able to um, keep it with one piece of wire so what we'll have to do is actually go around a couple of times so I just did a little a little handle like that Okay, at the side. I'm trying to keep it a little tight because I don't think I cut that much wire. So here's the cup. It kind of looks like an ear, but <laughs> I'm just playing around with it. It's always the first one can always be a little bit wonky. So, but this is the idea. We just continuous, and if it helps, you could always sketch it out first. Um, I like the idea of having like a little, a little saucer. So let's just bring it out like that, and we'll do a little bit of a saucer on there okay and there we're gonna go around like that oh Claudia you're hopping off okay so awesome that's awesome that you got to tell me all about what your evening so I'll definitely message you tomorrow and you could tell me all about it so there we go so here's like the little saucer oh I hope my arm my hands aren't going off the screen too much 
So that looks pretty cool. Cute, eh? So it's coming along. And then we need to get this back around to the bottom and then kind of center it a little bit. Go down like that. So here's already our little coffee cup. I'm not going to put any beads on this one. I'm just going to do it like this. And then for the, um, for the, uh, how do you say, like the little part that goes in the book, you could do a spiral or you can do like more of a paper clip type design. Where did that, I'm trying to see where I put, I did one that was like a little paper clip type design. I'm not quite sure. I think it fell down, but that's okay. What I'll just do for this one is let me do the paper clip style because I haven't made one with the with that kind of handle. It's cute, eh? So there we go. And this is 20 gauge wire. It's a little, it's a little fragile, but it's all right. The other thing you could do is if you wanted to, you know, you could get a thinner wire and wind it together if it starts coming, you know, if it looks like it's coming apart. But bookmarks don't generally get a lot of wear and tear, so it's probably it's probably okay. Yeah, it's cute this one, eh? I'm, I'm happy with this one. This was sort of a last minute one, but but I like the idea of doing like the coffee or teacup because it's a great, it's a great gift idea. And it would be a good thing to experiment doing other, uh, like adding beads to it or doing different things. So I'm just working my way down as I'm going uh, further into the center of the, of the bookmark part. I'm just using the smaller, smaller part of my pliers to make these loops smaller and smaller. So that's just, if you have a little bit of extra wire, just clip it off like that. And then you can just kind of push that in, just trim it. And there you have your coffee cup. So let's move all this stuff out of the way. We're gonna recap. And so here's the, the coffee teacup. This one's just an abstract one with little beads. If you had a little flat white shaped bead on top of the cup, a cream, ooh, that's a great idea. That's awesome. And then there's the dad one. And then here is the one that inspired it all, which is the little, the little uh, graduation cap one. So what I'm gonna do is I'll definitely take pictures of these. I'll put to put in the cover photo of the, of the video and I'm gonna share them in the, um, I'll share them in our Facebook group. So who, whoever is not already a part of the group, we have the uh, Facebook group. Let me flip the screen around so I can talk to you guys. Uh, I think we're gonna flip. Ooh, wait, sorry, now you see my messy basement. Now you see me, yay. So yeah, so whoever is not already a member of the Facebook group, we have the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. Uh, anybody's welcome to join. We have almost a hundred members. That's pretty awesome. And everybody shares photos of their work and encourages others and, and answers questions uh, when people have questions about remaking. And it, you, you love them all. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys can let me know in the comments um, if you have a favorite one of those ones. Um, I, I'm i really partial to this one with the, with the, I don't know if I could bring it up closer, with the graduation cap. I think that turned out really well. I'm really happy with that one. But yeah, so definitely join the group and I'm going to post photos of these uh, so you have a, a clear view of what they look like up close. I'll put some pictures in the community page as well. And if you guys have suggestions for other DIY projects, definitely uh, DM me, put them in the comments, put them in the group. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so definitely, yeah, if you guys want to hop on every week on the Wednesday, I usually do it at 9 p.m. Eastern. Sometimes if I am traveling, I'll just, um, I'll give you updates in the community page to let you know. And yeah, thank you everybody so much for hopping on and we'll definitely see you next week. And we'll see you on social media and on Instagram.